Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, Episode 13. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. And I am the ultimate life form. No, you're not. You're the Nesco. This is the ultimate life form right here. <laughs> His mouth looks weird. His <laughs> whole design looks stupid. Yeah, it's... I'm the dark, ultimate life form. I'm all black and depressing with a red stripe in my front quill. Ugh, the world! I will defend Shadow the Hedgehog in this game only, and maybe in Shadow the Hedgehog too. Yeah, we've seen that already, but anyway. But enough about Shadow, though. Let's go to Rouge. I was about to say, all of a sudden, Eggman's over in the desert. A change of scenery is nice. <laughs> he goes there for a vacation. You know, he just he gets in his bathing suit and he's like, Time for my ten! You got that? You see that Knuckles has all of his upgrades from when we were playing as him in the hero side. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking Roach is like, WHAT IN THE HELL ARE YOU WEARING?! calling <laughs> who You know, you could've... I mean, you have sunglasses, boxing gloves, and a snorkel! What are you doing?! <laughs> you know you can say that with a bit more verb, Knuckles. He's stealing the emerald! Who would have thought it'd be this easy? And what is the Master Emerald doing out in the desert? I thought it was on Angel Island. Did you decide to move Shop Knuckles? Well, obviously it didn't do anything. It's not a thing about it. It looks an awful lot like the desert base. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen. What? Pieces I can restore. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. I forgot how stupid Knuckles was. Yeah, he's a dummy. <laughs> I destroyed it so nobody could take it! They're trying to rob your bank! <laughs> yeah, blow the fucker up! Now nobody can steal it. <laughs> God, Knuckles, you're a an... dumbass! Okay, so at Rouge's first stage, and I gotta say, I, I dig this song. Let's take a listen. I, I kinda like all of Rouge's songs because they're poppy and jazzy and smooth and awesome and I did it. I was just thinking, is Rouge the one with the jazz soundtrack? And I'm yes. okay with that too. Yes. Alright, so we'll do a little bit of exploring see if we can't pick up any uh, preliminary emeralds. Is there any difference between Knuckles and Rouge or are they just pallet swaps? They're practically pallet swapped, yeah. There's changes in their move sets, but it ultimately does kind of the same thing. They are the exact same. So you don't. Ooh. Well, I think that's good because that way, um, when you switch from here to dark, you don't have to make a whole lot of changes. Okay. Yeah, like maybe there are like very subtle changes, like Sonic's a little bit faster than whatever. But if you want to get into stats, that's a that's in the multiplayer, which we'll probably do later. Oh <laughs> no way! I'm gonna kick your ass so hard. Oh, uh, I, I was just saying. Oh my god, multiplayer in this thing? Oh yeah. Why do you think it's called Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? Uh, I don't know. A lot of the assets, uh, or, or the multiplayer assets uh, for Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast, you had to unlock through getting all A ranks. Oh. It was bullshit. It was bullshit. But with uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, all that stuff is unlocked right off the bat, and if you just play the, over the main stories, you unlock everything else. Oh. So, yeah. This turtle, I had to destroy two robot guards, and I had to use him to get to the other side of the second half of this stage, pretty much. That's so weird that you couldn't do that on your own, but you had to ride a turtle who goes underwater to get there. There's a strong current that keeps you from doing that. Oh, uh, okay. I think that's how it works. Oh. Something along that line. It, you know, it's, it's, it's a giant turtle. You're gonna really question it too much. I mean, a bunch of anthropomorphic animals going around looking for shards. I, I don't think don't think I can call a lot into question. If anything, I promote this game for its realism. <laughs> Megalomaniacal right. evil oh, genius blowing up the parts of the moon. Totally realistic. If you harness enough power, the government gets enough money, we, that can happen. <laughs> Presidential election 2016, baby. Oh, you dated it. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. It was the perfect time. Ah, uh, well. Anyway, anyway. I, I really like the look of this level. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. This is just like a 
kind of, I almost want to say like a mystic ruin or something like that. Something you wouldn't find if you're exploring through the forest. You come across this ancient civilization. I like it. See, Wild Canyon, which was Knuckles' first stage, it felt like, it felt kind of cramped, kind of claustrophobic. Like they just crammed too many things into one. But here, it feels like it's a bit more open. It's been spaced out, it's been cut in half, and uh, it's got all of these, all the stuff on the outside of the level, too. Also it's kinda... still kind of... Go ahead. Oh, I also kind of noticed that uh, Sega, in all their wisdom, made both of the first stages for every single person kind of the training grounds. Like this one, as you said, it's all enclosed, and so was Knuckles. This is so you get a feel for all the flying, for all the climbing, for all everything. I also uh, was going to say that they're also roughly similar, too. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you're... If you start with Hero or Dark, whichever uh, whichever you choose, you're not getting your ass kicked right off the bat. Which would be a hilarious way to have Trial by Fire. It's like, you chose the dark side? Well, you better be ready to fight! <laughs> yeah, that won't be until Sonic Heroes. <laughs> Are we going to do that one? I hate that goddamn <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> Theme song's really good. Not really. I don't. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it, it. Here, play some of it right now. Sonic Heroes, Sonic I love that song. That's the only good thing about that game. You know what? I care for more of the dark side theme. Play that shit. Ah, you don't know what uh, you're talking about, man. I think since we switched stories, I think we've uh, changed alignment. <laughs> We were, playing, we were playing the hero's side. I was the guy who was who was defending it, and you know, I'll, I'll have to go lucky. And you're the one who's you know. You're, you're, now we've switched. <laughs> I will defend well, Sonic Heroes. No, I won't. <laughs> so here you had to, you have to grab a turtle. Oh wow! And we're no closer to the emerald. Great. Oh wait. Where are we? Oh good, we're going straight to prison. Thanks, Omo Chow. <laughs> there are no air pockets, so we gotta do it all in one go. Uh, what? There it is. Oh, there we go. Just gotta use your head. Use the old noggin. I mean, look at Rouge. She has two of them. Not too bad. Yeah, that was a C-rank joke, I think, too. <sighs> I mean, you'll make it to amateur night, but uh, you'll be booed off stage. But I'll be remembered. Hey, are you the guy that told that shitty joke? C-grade? <laughs> yeah, man, you know it. <laughs> oh my god! Can I get your autograph so I can throw it away? Alright, so now we got Rouge here. Let's go into the kindergarten. Oh, is our little chows in here? No, there isn't. We're is our little stuff. chows in here? That was a mess of a sentence. Anyway... But if you type it out, it'll look like a mess, too. Welcome to the dark market. The dark it, if you will. The dark market, where you can buy your dark eggs and your dark peacocks and your dark coins with your dark chocolate and your dark bushes that you could sell to all your dark homo chows. But do you allow dark people? I mean, if they want, it's an all-inclusive kindergarten. <laughs> Just only for chows. Right, right. I All mean, right. humans, screw them, but chat. What the hell is that thing? That's that's the little guy. That's our little guy. That abomination so adorable. Look at him. It's an adorable abomination. They're all adorable abominations. <laughs> Come here. No, 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 no. I'm not going to hurt you. Just stay here and let me get you some tasty morsels for you to destroy. All right. Looks like the dark fruit that I had bought earlier is gone. Just gone. It must have rotted away or something, so I guess there's a time limit on items. But, we're, get, we're gonna wow. give him a dark for now, which will make him more evil, I guess. That yeah. is, pro that is uh, prolonging or promoting his maturity, you know? I guess, you know. If you want to get more evil, just eat this fruit. You'll get evil points. It's kind of like Fable, when you eat the chickens, you get evil points. Eating chickens gets you evil points? Because you hear a crunch and you're actually eating live chickens. Uh, hmm. See, I like to cook my chickens. Does that make me <laughs> the Jesus or something? Well, they're still technically dead, but you didn't kill them. Oh. So where's that asshole? Let's see. Trying to find him. I mean, I mean, not the not the first asshole. This guy. That guy. Yeah. Fuck him. Wake up! Trying to 
Trying to wait. There we go. <laughs> Hope you're having a good dream because you're not now. Uh, guess what? Next episode, we're going to give him his name. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. For but, real, yo. Oh man, I've been waiting for this. Until now, we're going to do another Those Eggman stage. Oh, really? Shadow doesn't get a stage yet? Oh, no. Is he too busy being the ultimate life form? Dude, I don't think Shadow calls himself the ultimate. <laughs> I, I think that was the name he was given. I just think... I want to think that uh, there's like a disclaimer whenever he says his name. <laughs> he's like, sure. he self-proclaimed himself the ultimate life form. <laughs> Hey, Sonic! What's with all those small texts at the bottom? <laughs> it's a disclaimer, Tails. It tells everyone that he's not really the ultimate life form. <laughs> it's just like Shadow the, Hest Shadow the Hedgehog. Asterisks. Asterisk. Uh, cross. <laughs> it's just, oh, by the way, um, he calls himself the ultimate life form. We let him get away with it because it, you know, it helps the ego. He seems very, uh, very depressive and everything. We just want to make sure he has a good time here at our secret laboratory where he's locked up. That's based on 1964 information. 1964, wow. Yeah, we're use, uh, using the logs from 1964, we determined that he was the ultimate life form until uh, he was uh, replaced in 1965. With a new, more ultimate life form known as... Chuck. Well, I was about to say silver, but yeah, no, we'll go with Chuck. Oh no! Silver was a failure. So, so ironic. dumpster baby. You know, I realized that. Uh, so ironic that Silver is considered the Raiden of the Sonic series. <laughs> because he actually is voiced by Raiden. Oh, that's brilliant! I actually never knew that, and I didn't know they called him the Raiden of the series, I just thought they called him crap. Ah, fuck! Oh no! Alright, I take it back, he's not the Raiden of the series. <laughs> All right, do a little dance. Your current play style is the riding of the series. I noticed whenever Eggman jumps, he gets like spontaneous hiccups. It's like, listen, next time you jump. Yo, yo, yo. Well, you know, if you're a small fox, the force of gravity, you know, doesn't really do that much. But if you're a oh, fat, shit. bald, forty-five-year-old man, <laughs> true, true. <gasps> It's either, it's either that or he's always affirming something to himself. He's like, yup! Yeah, well, guy, that's smart. His mind's going a mile a minute, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, everything that's going by him is a brand new stimuli, and he always has to reaffirm it. And he's like, oh, look, robot just hit me. Yup! <laughs> Yo! Ah! <laughs> oh, just glitched through the floor. Yup! <laughs> Yosh. In that particular case, you got to that's uh, some invention you got there, Doctor. <laughs> uh, so this stage is really weird. It is very spinny, but it's pretty much like Tails's part when he goes through here too. Except it's at night and you don't really have much hovering. That said, imagine how easy this level would be with hovering. Oh. That's why we're gonna do some revisits after the story. <laughs> for that glorious 100% run. Uh -huh. Every day it makes, <laughs> makes me hate myself more. Every day I'm shuffling towards the reset button. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is all this? Hurrah for rolling. <laughs> oh, you actually have to come back with a rolling power or something like that? No, but, uh... Ah. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Whatever, you, whatever point you were trying to make, I completely missed it. <laughs> I thought there was something up there. Oh well. Look, okay. there probably was. I don't know. Oh, Sorry, I'm just dreading the fact that I have to do 100% of this. I have to get all <laughs> A ranks five times for each stage. And every time that I play a level and get more footage, I'm just like, oh god. Oh god. Look, dude, if I can save everybody in the town of Willamette, you can get all A's, okay? Can you do Frank the Pimp? I've done it once. Uh-huh. Hey, it's probably better than you. Have you done it? 
I don't think I even played the game much. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did it for me. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's right. You'll be the second person I have played Dead Rising for. And then we played Dead Rising 2, but not really because we co op through all of it. <laughs> not nearly had, as good. I had a glitched weapon the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's right! So what the fuck do I care? <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Yeah, didn't you have like a katana that never broke? It was like, oh, uh, God. oh shit, I fell in the glitch. Oh, Jesus. Damn it. Well. See, if I had my hovering ability, it'd be a lot easier. True, true. But hey, that's why we're gonna get this level out of the way first, because Eggman's gonna get powerful pretty soon. What? Oh, a bat. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> that was a scripted ramp, but it looked just close enough that I wasn't gonna make it. Yeah. Very nerve wracking. So, what happens if you, like, press the control stick during that point? Do you just fall, or. See, I think there's some bit of control of it in the more polished Sonics, but then you go, like, to Sonic 06. If you hold up at any point when you're when you're not on solid ground, oh the game boy. is doing something for you, you're not gonna land. You land on a spring, you throw that fucking controller across the room until you land on that goddamn Ooh. rail. <laughs> Sonic 06. Oh and my god, you're Sonic in, 06. You're in control of that one, right? If, if I can ever be asked to start recording it. Well, alright, that's cool. So I'll see you in like ten years when they remake it. Oh, Jesus, why would you ever remake that game? Speaking of which, Sonic announcement coming soon. God, you're dating this again. God damn, I can't fucking. You know, next time on Sonic Adventure Two, we're not gonna have this sort of amateur <laughs> hour. All right, see you later. You can edit that out. You know I'm gonna leave that in too. <laughs>